With the recent controversy of the real Mike and his quote unquote verification of Element 111RG, I've seen a good number of people very confused, largely due to how difficult it is to follow this drama. The purpose of this video is to make the information surrounding the controversy more accessible, and make it easier for other people to understand the situation. For quick context, if you are out of the loop about Element 111RG, the TLDR of it is that it's an old impossible level, it's so old in fact that we only really know what 15% of the level 100% looks like for certain. The rest of the level is lost to time and we probably won't ever see it. The Restoration Union did their best to piece spec together with a level most likely looks like, but technically we will never know what the real level is. Any point further when I mention element 111RG, it's in relation to Restoration Union's version of the level, which is the closest thing we will pretty much ever get. So the Restoration Union does have their copy of the level on the servers publicly for anyone to try and verify. And one of the people who showed the earliest signs of success was the real Mike, a Geometry Dash player who pretty much gained popularity from his element 111RG progress. There were other top players like Zanny who also made progress on the level, but it seemed that the real Mike had pulled ahead, he posted his supposed verification video of the level on March 19th, just this past Tuesday. Well, on the surface, it seems to be your fairly standard verification video. Y'all know that's not the case, that's why you're here. Upon further scrutiny of the verification, several prominent community figures and top players, such as Sani, Swyborg, and Zoe, all found that Real Mike's copy of Element 111RG was indeed nerfed. And while many of these nerfs only span a few pixels, when we're talking about a lot of inputs within the level that are pixel perfect, frame perfect, and with the sheer number of the nerfs in the real max copy, it does make a pretty significant difference, especially when you account for the fact that there is a very good chance that Mike would have died several times during the run if he was doing the run on the truly unnerfed version of the level. Sure, he might have moved the spike only a few pixels, but if he hadn't done that, he wouldn't have verified the level. The example that I am showing on the screen right now is the real Mike's version versus the unnerfed version of what is considered to be one of, if not the hardest part of the level, that had been altered in a way to make it significantly easier. All of this was eventually confirmed by the real Mike himself, claiming that it had been done by accident. By accident, my version has ever so slight nerfs. These were not my fault as I used a scuffed copy from a year ago and copied the update into my version version to save my attempt count on one copy. This version is like barely, and I mean barely easier. Personally, I'm counting this as I do not want to sit through something like this again. Congratulations Twitter, your dream of Zoink verifying still holds. First off, I'm pretty sure Zoink has not shown very much interest in this level. Second off, he would later go back on this, he's claiming to have progress on the unnerfed version now. And the nerfs were not done by accident, which we will get into next. So how do we know that the nerfs were intentional? Well, the real Mike story goes that he got an old copy of the level that was kind of scuffed, and that that was the version of the level that he was playing on. The evidence that completely contradicts this is that there's even nerfs in between progress videos on the real Mike's channel. Since the nurse were discovered, he's tried to pretend like he's been, quote, playing on this copy the entire time. This is a lie. I overlaid an unlisted video of him getting 42% and his completion video, and as you can see, the level is nerfed. There's also been more evidence of this in other parts of the level, in which, again, a part of the level in the verification video has been nerfed compared to the original version of the level, and even older versions of the supposed nerfed version of the level that he accidentally got from the servers. So even if the real Mike did accidentally copy the wrong version of the level that was slightly easier than the original Element 111RG Restoration Union project, he still made nerfs to the level even after making progress on it. What's more concerning than the actual nerfs themselves is the fact that he is willing to lie about it. It definitely shows a pretty significant level of untrustworthiness to most people, especially considering that now he claims to be having runs on the unnerfed version, which I honestly would not be surprised if it turned out that that was also nerfed as well. I mean, think about it, if he was nerfing the level even slightly while he was verifying it in between progress runs, and then later when caught after nerfing the level, he says that actually it was done on accident and he just grabbed the wrong copy of the level that mysteriously disappeared and can't be found, Flash isn't on the servers anymore, most of his future verifications would be pretty suspicious, especially if he's going for Element 111RG again, and especially because he's had a history of nerfing other levels that he's done progress on, such as Tartarus. And as goofy in comparison as this kind of sounds, he has also just blatantly streamed himself using hacks on Hypixel to play Skywars. So the real Mike has a previous history of being dishonest when it comes to Geom Trash completions and using hacks in other gaming communities. Which, I don't know, seems pretty suspicious to me, although he could be legitimately doing the unnerfed version now. To top all of this off, there has also been a lot of drama surrounding the real Mike himself that further calls his reliability into question. I've seen some people downplaying it as just sort of useless drama that doesn't mean anything. The more I looked into this, the more I realized this is not just your average Twitter drama. But yeah, if you're uncomfortable with any of the topics on screen right now, this is your chance 
chance to click off, because shit's about to get fucking crazy. First off, Mike's been pretty blatantly racist, including him just outright admitting that he's racist towards Indians because apparently he got bullied by one. Which is weird already, but he's also just said the n-word. While it is misspelled in these screenshots, he's literally stated that it was a mistype and that he meant to use the n. <laughs> like, this isn't even just by implication, bro is actually just plainly stating that he's racist. Dude, I'm gonna be honest, I have not seen something that overt in a little bit. He also does have a history of harassing transgender people, and by that I don't just mean he said something like he disagrees with their existence or something, I mean he genuinely just harasses and encourages other people to harass trans people. I mean, call me crazy here, but harassing people in general is a pretty bad thing. So unless you're 12 years old, watch Sneeko content, and haven't put on deodorant since Element 111 RG was created, this is not great. But unfortunately, this isn't even nearly where it ends. Next up, he's also sent death threats, like several times, and also made fun of someone's dad dying. And if none of that so far concerns you for some fucking reason, guess what? There's more. The real Mike has also harassed people in the, uh, in a certain way that YouTube does not like being said. Kind of in a George Nut found just a GD player advy kind of way. I mean, I'm putting the screenshots up on the video right now. You'll you see what I mean. On top of this, he's also denied the severity of slash minimized actions of a very very bad angry German man with a silly mustache from World War II. That again, I cannot say the name of, or else my channel will get yeeted into the abyss. He's also shown personal information to entire groups of people, doubled down on what I mentioned previously with the uh, frictual harassment, if you will. There's also some allegations of him essaying someone in real life, but at the time of recording, there doesn't seem to be any confirmation of this. If I did miss anything, please let me know down in the comments. And he said this, so... Hopefully that's a joke. It should be noted that the real Mike has indeed posted a video addressing all of these things, or at least most of them, but it wasn't received very well and he's unlisted it now. It is also two and a half hours long. From what I could gather in the video, which is very incoherent, there's not really much there, and to me it says a lot that he wasn't even willing to edit it down into a video at all. Like, this involves some very serious topics, and the way to address it is not a two and a half hour Discord call that you unlist after it gets bad reception. So yeah, as you can imagine, there are a lot of people who absolutely fucking despise this guy. Which makes a lot of sense considering everything we just talked about. And while I know not very many people support him anymore, it's still something I wanted to go over because a lot of people are completely confused about what's been happening. Which I understand it took me a hot sec to compile all of the Twitter stuff myself. The reason I think this is still important is because he is still claiming to have progress on the unnerfed version of the level. Which I would be a little dubious of considering that he has already lied about his motivations for nerfing the level, whether he nerfed the level intentionally or not, and if the level was nerfed to begin with, repeatedly. And there are tons of players with less recognition at or above his skill level that are not receiving enough attention. Funnily enough, Element 111 RG wouldn't place in the top 10 today, or at least this version of it wouldn't. And in terms of the stuff that he said that's more messed up and sort of on that side of the whole drama, it's been shown to be a pretty consistent pattern that has come up pretty recently as well. These aren't just screenshots from years ago, these are pretty recent events. So yeah, I just wanted to make sure all of the information was accessible on YouTube instead of having to scroll through a billion different Twitter threads. A link to the Twitter thread with all the screenshots will be in the description. If you did enjoy, please remember to like and subscribe. Again, please, 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 if I missed anything or got anything wrong, please let me know in the comments so I can address it as quickly as possible. And uh, yeah, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.